Okay, now let's do question D and E. Okay, uh, this question D, we need to draw y versus displacement versus time graph. That means y versus t graph at this for this particle at x equal to zero, and for requirement two period the the x axis the time axis need to be two period. Yeah, also at least two wavelength lah. Okay, so okay, let's do the question D. Uh, also, write the formula first. Always write the formula. Uh, okay, we need to draw y versus t graph. Y versus t graph at at what? At x equal to zero. Uh, x equal to zero centimeter. The requirement is at least. Uh, okay, maybe I drag a little bit down. Yeah, two. So with the requirement is I want the uh, p the time axis. Uh, in this range, uh, at least you have two periods shown in your graph. You must have two periods shown in your graph. Okay, this is the requirement. So let's let us uh, uh, determine the equation first. Determine equation. So we must rewrite the equation given by sine uh, two pi t uh, minus pi over two x. Okay, so now we substitute. What we do is we substitute the x equal to zero into here. Ah, we substitute the x equal to zero into here, and what do you get? What do you get? Ah, uh, this one you get sine um, two pi t, and then when x x become ah uh, when x becomes zero, oh, when x becomes zero, so the whole thing gone. Ah, uh, so it's just a basic sine graph basic positive sine graph uh, okay so very simple this is just a basic sine graph uh, so this is just a basic sine graph so uh, what you do is you just um okay you just uh, okay, use this back yeah uh, all right okay let, let us draw the graph yeah let us draw the graph now Okay, let us draw the graph. I think uh, just adjust a little bit to preserve space. Yeah. So, oh, uh, okay, that's that's nice. Uh, I think a little bit up. Sorry. Okay, so now we need to draw uh, this one. Adjust a little bit. Uh, I need to, some space. Okay, so. Uh, we need to draw a y versus t graph. Okay, y versus t. First, you label. First, you label the axis. This is a y. Y is in centimeter. Uh, remember the unit. You must label the unit. Centimeter and time. This is now time. Uh. Uh, last time is uh, y versus x graph. Y versus x graph. Uh, now is y versus t graph. Uh, last time use. Last time use lambda. Last time your uh, graph is using lambda. Now you use period, okay? Because now it was a time graph. It's different. Later I will show you the difference. The time in second, isn't it? Uh, time is second, not millisecond. Good. You must label the unit also, okay? And then uh, label. You must have at least two period. You must have at least uh, two period. That means the period is uh, considered one second. Uh, one second. So I can label this one. Uh, this is one period here. This is two period here. Uh, this is one second. Uh, this is considered one period. This is considered two period. Uh, two period is two second. Lah, because one period is one second. One period is one second. So two period is two second. So we can say uh, the middle here should be 0 0.5 second. And then here should be 1.5 second. Okay. And then the rest are uh, ah, amplitude. This one is 5 centimeter. 5 centimeter. This is negative 5. Uh, this is the top here is a and this is negative a okay just for reference okay uh, and then uh, now i need to uh, sign graph i need a sign graph okay sign, a basic sign graph means uh, basic sign graph means okay i plot first uh, I, I start from zero uh, sign graph we start from zero okay and then uh, uh, complete one period here yeah uh, complete one wave complete one wave here uh, well, because we have uh, two period 
complete one wave here, one period, and then complete another wave over here. Okay, so uh, I can say sign graph is looks like this one. Okay, go to the top here and then bit bottom, and then go to here. Ah, complete one period. Ah, complete one period. A sign graph. A sign graph. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Done. Okay, where is my one second? Uh? Okay, one. Okay. Uh, and then another another period, another wave, another wave, another sign graph. Ah, uh, done. Oh, sorry. Once I plot, I become uh, easier to draw. Huh? The plot helped me to draw. So always plot first. Ah, so this is the sign graph. This is the graph for this equation. Understand? Ah, so very easy, yeah? Very easy. So I got the graph already. 5 sine 2 pi t is this graph. Ah, actually, you should label also. Lah. Label also the, 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 equation, the, the, the graph with the equation. Ah, you label also. Ah, it's better you label the graph with your equation. So last time, the, the graph also you need to label. Yeah? Ah, this one also you need to label. You need to label your graph, yeah, with your equation, the, 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 the graph equation. You need to label it with your graph equation. Okay? Uh, sorry, this is wrong. This is a part. This is x here. Uh, see the difference? This one is x. You have wavelength lambda, you see? Lambda, 2 lambda. Uh, this one is lambda in centimeter, you see? Lambda. But for, for this one, this one is uh, time second second in period two period uh, one second two second uh, that's the difference y versus this y versus t graph uh, this one is uh, this one is uh, y versus s graph okay uh, you must la label the graph uh, with your equations uh, this one also you need to label i forget to uh, label the graph equation uh, actually i need to label the graph equation here y equal to negative negative uh, 5 sine uh, and then uh, pi over 2x and then this one is minus pi over 2 uh, this is the equation equation for the graph okay now okay let's continue let's continue uh, doing our graph okay we have done that now let's do uh, that's a that's a question d now question e okay we have two period already yeah you see you have two wave here uh, two period so now question e this is oscillation of one particle only yeah? oscillation of one particle at this position x equal to zero uh, so now let's do question e let's do question e i uh this one i need to draw uh, y also y versus t graph i need the y versus t graph at what which position at x uh sorry x equal to uh x equal to uh 1.5 wavelength uh, 1.5 wavelength my requirement also uh, must have two period must have two period okay must have two period uh, that's it uh, okay now nice uh, okay but the thing is uh, my lambda I don't want to use uh, I must substitute the lambda here uh, my lambda is uh, 4 cm. My lambda is 4 cm, so I substitute uh, 1.5 times lambda is 4 cm. So, what is the x, uh, x needed? Yeah, so this one in cm. Uh, so, 1.5 times uh, 4, you will get 6 cm. Uh, this one means the x you need to substitute with 6 cm. You need to substitute x with 6 cm. So, rewrite the equations. Uh, rewrite the equation you given, uh, which is the general equation here. Um, okay, so write the equation, write back the equation, y equal to uh, 5 sine uh, and then uh, 2 pi, 2 pi t uh, minus pi over 2x. Okay, right, rewrite this equation. Now I need to substitute the x value. I need to substitute the x value. The x value I substitute into here, and what do I get? Uh, what do I get? Yeah, five sine 
uh, 2 pi t uh, minus okay I substitute it uh, and I get um, x is uh, 6 centimeter okay x is in 6 uh, everything is in centimeter okay no, no problem yeah because everything is centimeter the lambda also the lambda also in centimeter uh, the lambda also in centimeter so my x also can be in uh, centimeter no problem because my lambda also in centimeter okay so uh, one what do i get so this one you will get uh just yes, this one become three uh, this one become three so uh, so my equations become five sine uh, two pi t uh, minus minus what minus um minus three pi ah minus three pi okay ah see that so how ah you so your your graph now your equation now your angle is also minus minus the angle uh, when you minus the angle you shift your wave to the right uh, back to this concept when you minus something when you minus something in your when you minus something in your angle you shift the wave to the right you minus something in the angle you shift the wave to the right you plus something in the angle you shift the wave to the left yeah, you plus something in the angle you shift the wave to the left you minus something in the angle yeah you minus something in the angle you shift the wave to the right uh, okay so you minus something in the angle you shift the wave to the right so um okay maybe i should write rewrite this one ah uh, okay so ah uh, when you minus when you uh, minus something in the angle you shift the wave to the right uh, you shift the wave to the right by how much by by three pi 1 pi is considered as um uh, 1 pi is considered as like 180 degree isn't it 180 uh, degree or like a uh, half wave length lah. yeah uh, uh, 180 180 degree so uh, if 3 pi if 3 pi means 3 times the uh, 180 degree uh, i just uh, as a simpler as that lah. Uh, so the negative means i shift it to the right lah. Uh, negative minus something in the angle you shift the wave to the right uh, or the wave move to the right the wave move to the right like negative something negative kx uh, like uh, negative negative kx the wave move to the right uh, okay wave move to the right so uh, I, what graph graph I need to draw is going back to the same sine graph uh, still going back to the same sine graph which is this graph you see that which is the which is back to the same graph phi uh, phi sine 2 pi t this one okay this is phi sine 2 pi t this one also phi sine 2 pi t just you have additional minus 3 pi uh, you have additional minus 3 pi here uh, that means you need to use this uh, this graph again the sine graph again and then you just shift the wave to the right by three times uh, 180 degree shift the wave to the right to the right by uh, three times 180 degree okay uh, okay so okay i'm going to copy this graph again yeah okay uh, this is the original graph just now yeah using back the same graph i need to shift the whole graph uh, to the right by three times 180 degree okay uh, now how i'm going to do it yeah okay so what I'm going to do is first of all, since I need to shift the whole wave, shift the whole wave to the right. So I need to know what graph behind here. I need to know what graph behind here. Okay, so I prolong a little bit the graph. I prolong a little bit of the graph. Uh, so that means uh, we have furthermore, we have graph over here some more. We have graph some more here, uh, here, here, and then uh, what else we have over here and here. Uh, we have. This is our extra graph. Okay, our extra graph. This is our extra graph. Uh, isn't it? Uh, so uh, I can consider like uh, this 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 uh, half wavelength is like 180 degree. It's like a pi. Huh? It's like a pi. Huh? I can say that 
this is considered like a pi this is another pi this is another pi okay uh, this is a pi a pi a pi uh, so what so when you shift the wave to the right that means that means uh, the point here the point here will go directly to shift it to the right that means we'll go to here understand <laughs> see that when you shift the whole wave to the right by three times pi that means the wave here uh, the point here will go to here will read go to here ah uh, so that means after that is what graph ah uh, so that means this point will go this point will go to here you shift the whole wave to the right by 3 pi so that means this this point will go to here so after after this point is going down uh, it's going down uh, so what i can say is i plot first i plot first yeah the graph will be bottom here and then and over here and then over here and then over here here okay i plot i like to plot okay and it becomes here ah uh, over here here oops sorry okay ah uh, all right again again finally done yeah so so my whole wave actually shift already and my whole wave already shift okay so this point go to here uh, so the the whole wave actually shift uh, further right uh, so this is the shifting the shifting that happens yeah um, uh, okay the shifting that happens so so what's my final graph what's my final graph uh, let me draw for you beside ah i don't i done it yeah okay so the whole wave shift already now this this the whole wave shift to the right for uh uh minus pi pi uh, three pi minus three pi that means is um when minus three pi that means it shift the whole wave to the right uh by three times pi three times pi radian uh, shift the wave to the right yeah uh? it shift the whole wave to the right by negative three pi yeah negative three pi ah so uh, this is the graph you get finally yeah the blue one ah also you have two period one period two period remember you must label the values here remember the amplitude here the unit centimeter and second all this very important so this is the final graph uh, so final graph of the this one i uh, must label the equations also label the equation also okay this graph equation is y equal to uh, 5 sine uh, 2 pi t uh, minus 3 pi ah this is the final equation for this graph okay so it become a negative sine graph actually it become a negative sine graph yeah compared to last time is a uh, is a positive sine graph positive sine graph now it become a, a negative sine graph a negative sine graph okay so you understand about the shifting all always back to the uh, the concept okay when we plus something in the angle you shift the wave to the left when you minus something in the angle you shift the wave to the right uh, that's it uh, shift the, to the left means wave travel to the left shift the wave to the right means wave travel to the right okay so that's all for these questions okay hope you understand and enjoy bye